going to the hooky low, the hooky, the hooky, the hooky low, where the cow low low is the cow cow, and breakfast with Bob. <laughs> Macho Man! Welcome again, everybody, to Breakfast with Bob, St. George edition. My name is Bob Babbitt. We're brought to you by Master Spa, Zion's Bank, Quintana Roo, Form Smart Swim Goggles, Clash Endurance, Premium Plus Sports, and our Challenged Athletes Foundation. Our next guest, Sky Monch, feels right at home. Yes. Because this is we're in Zion's Bank. Yeah, I worked as a teller for Zion's uh, when I was in college for almost two years. My favorite job ever. Yeah. Really, being a teller was your oh, favorite yeah. job. Oh yeah, I loved counting out the money, dealing with the people. It was fun, good times. I don't. I think people think that people grow up and they go through some. Oh, I'm going to go to college as a professional triathlete, and then I'll come <laughs> out right. Yeah. And you are the perfect example of somebody who was doing. How, how many jobs were you working when you were in college? Um, well, for basically in high school. Yeah. To be able to pay your way because you knew family yeah. wasn't going to be able to take care of your college. Yeah, I worked like two jobs at a time. I always cleaned houses for people, and then I usually had like a real job because cleaning houses was just kind of my gig. And then I was usually an employee somewhere. So I worked at a bakery. I worked at the bank. I worked for, I was a teaching assistant at the university. So I taught like accounting and stuff. So yeah, I stayed really busy. Well, and you got your CPA. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm still a CPA. Yeah, believe right. it You're or not, which was where you'll have that forever. <laughs> well, right? no, you. I might let my license lapse this year. I don't know that I want to do the continuing education for it. Oh my god, triathlon's going well, you know. That's right. Well, let's talk about going yeah. well. So you were just coming off of Oceanside, yeah, right? Eighth at Oceanside. Yeah, and that's there was a lot of speedy people there. There were. That was a red hot field, and you know I was in the middle of an Ironman build, so I just went there, got the job done. Got and your speed work. In. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was a speed work. Yep. But twenty twenty one. Did you consider this your best year? Oh, probably. Uh, um, you second Ironman Florida, win Chattanooga, uh, Ironman Chattanooga, six seventy point three worlds right here. Yeah. Twelfth uh, at Collins Cup, fourth at seventy point three Boulder, uh, third Tulsa. Uh, fifth, 70.3 St. George. Win, 70.3 Texas. Fifth, Challenge Miami. That is a, for, for a year where there wasn't a lot of racing, <laughs> you hit every one. Yeah, I, I raced every race possible, I think. It was good, though. Um, yeah, I felt pretty strong and solid all year. And, you know, it's not like everything went perfectly. So I'm pretty proud of that year, for sure. Yeah, and so th this is your backyard, basically. Yeah. You're, you're a Salt Lake gal. Yeah, as close to home as I'm going to get probably for a world championship. So, Did you come over here a lot to train? Um, not a lot. I just made one trip in March before this to get familiar again with the course. I'd been down here before for obviously racing right. and then um, training camps years ago. But it had been a while since I'd done parts of the course. And the run course is completely... Totally different, right? Yeah, well, I, I mean, guess there's like that one course. part that's the same. But yeah. yeah, that I had no idea about. So I definitely wanted to check out the run course and confirm that there was no flat. And indeed, that was true. So. There was no flat at <laughs> yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. But so this, yeah. this course suits you. Yeah. I mean, I try to be good no matter what the course is, right? Like, I think if you're a good athlete, you're good on any course. But I do think the difficulty of the course, and I, I consider myself a very strong athlete, I, I'm excited to tackle it for sure. That is so cool. Uh, going from working a million jobs to <laughs> becoming a professional triathlete, take me through that that transition from, okay, you get your CPA. I'm sure mom and dad are like, hey, this oh, is Oh, very great. proud, yeah. Very proud, and yeah. you're going to be an accountant. This would be great. How long were you into the accounting biz, or were you, before yeah. you decided, you know what, I, I think I want to be a professional athlete? Well... <sighs> Yeah, professional athlete was really never like a dream that I had growing up. Like I was very focused on getting through school and getting my degrees and, you know, getting a good job. So I think it was kind of four years into the public accounting grind that, you know, I enjoyed it for a while and it was very satisfying, but then I just got bored of it. I got, I just wasn't feeling challenged the way that I wanted to be challenged, I guess. And it's yeah. hard to explain, except just that like my gut was just talking to me like, no, this isn't. This, this isn't, isn't a, this isn't it and this isn't what we want to do and what's <laughs> challenging anyway so um yeah i would say about four years in i started thinking like okay i would love to pursue triathlon i think that's something i could be good at but i would need to work less and i would need a coach i would need help I, and i even then i had no idea like how slow <laughs> i was going to be once i actually started racing pro <laughs> But yeah, it took a while though for me to really make the move because it's scary to go talk to your boss and say, you know what, I know I'm really good at my job, but like, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm not <laughs> sure that I want to do this anymore. 
So yeah, it took me a while to get up the guts and kind of figure it out. I had everything in spreadsheets, budgeted it out, how I was going to pay for everything. Of course and, you did. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I left, um, it was about five years after starting with Ernst & Young. That's yes. where I was. Yeah. That I went part-time. Is that where Gwen was? Yeah. Gwen she was, was there. there she, she was only there like a year though. Oh, so. okay. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she was just drifting through. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Staff. I'm your one is nothing. Right now. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. I know I can't clip in the pedal thing. But yeah, I'll, I'll figure that out. I knew how to do that at least. You yeah. do all that. I knew so. how to cycle already. But yeah. you, you were you having success as, a, as an age grouper, which led to pro. You know, I didn't have like this booming age group career. To be honest, yeah. I did some local races, maybe like two or three a year, uh, sprints, half Ironman, uh, like not half, not Ironman branded, just right. like local just, yeah, races, yeah. and then it was. I didn't really start racing like Ironman races, competitive fields, you know, traveling to race until I decided I was going to go pro. Then I raced one year amateur, won pretty much everything I yeah. did, and then qualified to race pro. And here we are. Here we well, are. Well, it's not as simple as that. It took years <laughs> to get here, but. <laughs> well, and we were supposed to chat in 2019 yes. in Kona, yes, right? We you were, were supposed to meet Poncho Man. I was very you're, excited you're, for that. You had your Hawaiian outfit picked out. I did. A whole bit. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, what happened? Just this freak bike crash, like two and a half weeks before the race, really. Yeah. Um, I was at home coming down a canyon, and I don't know exactly what happened. I have some ideas, but it doesn't really matter because it took me out of the race. I broke three bones oh. and there was definitely no getting to the start line. Not even getting on a plane once I realized how bad it was. Cause I was trying to like justify, I'm like, oh, if it's just my collarbone, we can just put a screw in it and I can start the race. It's gonna be fine. I'm just gonna swim 2.4 <laughs> miles <laughs> yeah. and oh, do my arm like this for 12,000 times. Yeah. I'll be good, yeah. I, I kind of just went through it <laughs> in the ER. I'm like, okay. If it's collarbone, we're good. And they're like, no, no, it's not going to be okay. I'm like, well, we can at least go watch. And they're like, no, nah, I don't think you want to go watch. And then I realized, yeah, it wouldn't even be fun lying on the beach. So we're not going. So that's, that's that was it. That was Kona 2019. I watched it from my bed. It was nice. Oh, God. Yeah. So this, this is your first Ironman World Championship. It is. Yep. Excited? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think it's a cool opportunity for me. Um, this is a course no one's done. Right. So we don't know how it's going to play out. I think maybe Kona can be a bit predictable or not predictable, but, you know, people have done it years after year, right. years and we know what the weather's like, the conditions are like. And uh, I don't know, a few more variables for us on Saturday, I think, than just like, hey, we've done this before. Well, and, and somebody who lives out here, you know, the wind is unpredictable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that'll be a player. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Um, I keep checking the forecast to see what the wind says it's going to do, but the reality is it's going to do whatever it's going to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If it feels like hailing, it'll start hailing. It will. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Without notice. Yeah. What, do you have a specific goal for this race? I mean, when I look at what you've been doing, it's one, one first, first, second, yeah. second type of thing. So it's not like you're going, well, I'm here to yeah. you know, finish top 10. You're, right. you're I'm here to win this thing. here to be a competitor. Um, yeah. I don't. I don't have like an emotional attachment to any result or goal because for me, if I put in my best effort and I do everything in my control to give the best on the day, then I'm going to be happy with the result. But of course, like I, I want to be at the front as close to the front as I can get all day, you know? So exactly. Yeah. I love it. Sky, have a great one. Thank you. Poncho man, take us out. <laughs> Throw our nets into the sea and all the ama ama they keep so mean to me because we're going to the hooky love. The hooky hooky hooky, hooky hooky hooky, hooky hooky hooky, and breakfast with Bob. Poncho Man! Thanks everybody for Thank tuning in.